All right, look who I got with me again today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good you ready, day. You ready to dig some cannonballs? I'm going to find one. We're at Cannonball Alley, and we're getting ready to start doing some digging. Stay tuned. Somebody clean this spot out good. Well, buddy says he did find one case shot, the small size, and we found a bunch of them in this area before. We're going to be here for a while, though, so hopefully we'll come up with something. But uh, he says he's got another target over there right now, and he's working on it. All right, we'll go check in with him in just a second. Y'all want to go under? I'm going to take you under in just a little bit, but it, it, visibility under here is really bad. Sometimes you can't see your hand in front of your face, but, uh, We'll, go, we'll take a ride on it just a little bit, so stay tuned. I will check it with Buddy just a minute. Well, Buddy, what are you doing, man? Whew. It's tough, Is it man. tough? It's tough. All right. I did get a couple relics here. Let me see if I can get them out here. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I might be able to reach in my bag here and get them. I did get... See, Buddy said he's got, he got a little something, too, I think. Yeah, but I think I might have lost it. My bag was open. Uh-oh. Buddy says he... Might be danger. Might have lost it. Uh-oh. You really didn't have it, did you, buddy? No. <laughs> I tell you, it's tough keeping stuff in your bag down there sometimes. Uh, I probably need a different one. That's just a piece of metal. I don't know what that is. But I got something in here. Hopefully, I hadn't lost it either. Yep, yep here it is. Big old one-inch lead ball. Yep. Got a case shot, baby. I had one of them. I can't even lost it. You, you, you had the one-inch? No, I had a smaller one. Yeah. So I lost what I had. Oh, man. The zipper came open and lost it. Uh-oh. His, his zipper came open. Can't let your zipper come open, buddy. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible I got one man. other thing, too. Shoot. I got one other thing. I got a uh, bullet. I got a bullet, buddy. Somewhere down here. I lost both items, I found. All right. Nice. That right there. I got a nice little Civil War bullet. And it's, uh, it's actually a Williams Cleaner that has been pulled. You can see it has uh, crimped on the end there. You see the three rings on it. You see the little tab right there for the zinc that would go on to clean the gun out. But it's actually been pulled, I think. Or either it was loaded with another one and, and, and mashed in. I'm not sure how. Uh, I don't know if that's pulled or whether it's a double loaded. I don't know. Y'all can tell me about that. Pretty cool, though. All right. We're going to be here for a while, so stay tuned. We're going to have some more. All right, what we're doing now is we're slowly uh, moving the boat down a little bit at a time, maybe, uh, what do you think, buddy, 30 yards at a time? Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll dig in that whole area and then move down 30 yards and dig some more. But well, we've dug cannonballs, K-shot in all these areas, but uh, we're just trying to uh, find a little honey hole again now. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're thinking maybe the winter time it might have uh, cleaned some more out, but I'm not seeing that too much. You, buddy, I don't think it's been that much change, so... We're going to keep hunting here and see what we can find. Stay tuned. All right, buddy. We've got all the easy ones, haven't we? Yeah, it's been tough. I got I got one down here right now me and buddy are working on. I can barely, barely hear it. And uh, I started digging. I can feel something round feeling down here. Buddy's going to help me go get it right now. Let's go down and get it. All right, I just broke it loose. And I think buddy's getting ready to come up with it right now. All right, buddy. Bring it up. I know it was in there. Holy smoke, man, look at man. that. Wow, man. Oh my God. That is a, I think it's a canister shot. Look at all the case shot into it. It's flat on top. It's not a Bowman ball and it's flat on the edges. I'm thinking that's a canister shot. Oh my God, that is so cool right there. That is. I've never found one of those before. Buddy, we didn't get it all, did we, buddy? Oh man, you're doing good today. Man. That is cool. We're going to have to go down that hole and see if any of these balls are down in that hole. Mm -hmm. Now, we dug 50 balls right here at the same location, but maybe the bottom part had all of them in it, and this is just what's left of it, maybe, right here. Look at that. Oh, that was loose right there. Look at that. That's lead there, so they'll be okay, but look at it. looks like copper right here, buddy. Let's clean off just a little bit. Isn't that copper? Let's take a little bit of that mud What's off that? here. That is so cool right there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I don't want to lose them. It must be one, two, three, four, five. 
It's probably 30 or 40 balls right in that thing right there, buddy. Yeah, it's heavy. It's <laughs> heavy. We got to get that back to the boat. We don't want to lose any. I tell you what, but I'm going to carry this back to the boat. You All stay right, right here, right. and let's go down here and see if we can find any more that came out of it Excellent right here. Fun. Excellent fun. Oh, my God. All right, let's, I'm going to carry that back. You stay here, buddy. Boy, does not look pretty down there. I'm going to keep it wet right now. But I went back down there and dove around the hole that I dug this out of and dug seven more case shot out of the hole. These are lead case shot. So we'll drop them right here in the bucket so we don't lose them here. Right in the water here. But that's probably the ones that were here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like probably the seven that were right in this hole right here that broke out uh, as I was digging it out. So that's pretty cool. That was loose. A couple of them a little bit loose, but they're still sealed in there. I guess they put the stuff in there. Yeah, you can see them. Look at that in there. Isn't that so cool? All right, we're going to check it out when we get home. Stay tuned. Buddy, where are all the targets at? You're the man today. Man! I tell you what, I, I feel fortunate to have found out one shell for sure. It's still looking pretty down here. I love it, man. But we're not finding a whole lot else, are we? No. Um, I think I got one bullet, some sinkers. And uh, not like it used to be. We used to come home with, oh my God, hundreds of case shot and uh, big shell frags. And just, we have cleaned this place out pretty good. But you can't get it all. Right, buddy? Uh, we're going to keep all. hunting a little bit longer. We might hit a few other spots on the way back. Uh, since we got our snoop rig here, we can hit some spots we've never hit before. So we might be doing that. <sighs> it's a beautiful day out here. I love it. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to give y'all a little taste of the visibility I got here. It's not very much, but we're going under right now. Here we go. In shallow water, you get out deeper, it, it gets worse. And as soon as you start stirring it up, it's like you can't see your hand in front of your face anyway. I don't even look anyway. Uh, it's no need in trying to see something by sight, it's just by everything's by feel. All right, we're gonna move the boat a little, get, a little bit and uh, give it another shot. Here we go. Hi, right, buddy, and I've been out there for a right good while now, a couple yeah. hours. I hadn't we hadn't looked in our pouches. You're out there and you just feel it, and you throw your pouch, it feels like a bullet, feels like a sinker, but you never know. So Buddy's going to empty his pouch right now, and then I'm going to empty mine, and we'll check it out. Let's do it. All right, Buddy. Let's see what you got there, Buddy. Come on. Come on. Talk to me. Oh, did you? Is, oh, Buddy's got a bullet. Good job, Buddy. That's a, uh, that is a cleaner right there. Williams cleaner. That looks like a pistol bullet right there. I think that's a sinker. I think that's a Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're down there. You feel that right there. It kind of feels it's like a sinker. Feels like it doesn't. You just don't know. That's a sinker. Definitely sinkers over there. It's I an think. Eight up button. A eight up button. Yep. Yeah. That's it. On your button or something. Wow. Okay. All right, buddy. Hold it right here, buddy. All right. Show me how it's done. All right. Show me how. I'll show you how it's done there, buddy. First, I got a couple of things. I don't know what they are. Probably trash. I had to clean, knock that off, and clean it up. Man, you know that's trash, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah. I just keep digging all kind of stuff down there. Get it out of the way so I won't have to dig it again, buddy. What do you think? Please. All right, let's throw some stuff up here. I'm thinking that's just a... That's a, that's a square nail, look. Yep. That's an old square spike. You can see it right there. I don't know what this is right here yet. Oh, well, that took care of that, didn't it, buddy? Uh, that's definitely a sinker. I'm thinking that might be a bullet right there. You know what? That's a case shot, I think, that's been, uh, mashed. I'm thinking case shot right there. Holy, oh, that's something else I got. I remember pulling that in, didn't know what it was. But, it's a copper, copper clip there. Oh, man, I got all kind of goodies in here, buddy. Let's do, oh, that's a bullet. That's a definite bullet here. 
What do you think, buddy? Yep, for sure. Definitely one bullet. And that's definitely a case shot. Yeah. Case shot, case shot, bullet. That. Maybe a homemade sinker, maybe. I'm not sure about that. That's definitely a homemade sinker. Looks like, anyway. We'll save that and look at that. They're definitely regular modern sinkers. That's a weird sinker there, isn't it, buddy? We'll have to look at that closer. I still got some still got some goodies in here, buddy. I feel them. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, oh I think that's bullet. another bullet. Yep. That's a weird looking one, isn't it? Oh, that's a three ringer, but it looks, looks a little short. But yeah, definite bullet. Look at the difference of those two. That's definitely two different style bullets there, no question. All right, I think we're getting to the bottom of it, buddy. I think we're getting to the bottom of it. Okay, I think that's it for me. Got a couple of little tiny pieces in it. I, I remember throwing some little tiny stuff in there. It could be like a... I don't know. Man, oh man, oh man, buddy. What a day. I think that's going to do it, though, buddy. All right. That's going to wrap up the uh, what we got right here. We'll get home and clean everything up. You know, the flies about to eat me up here. We'll get home and clean everything up. Looks like we might have a storm coming, so we better get out of here or at least check the radar, see what's going on. But definitely got several bullets. That big, uh, I think that's a canister shot, what you call that. But we're going to check it out with some experts to make sure. All right, buddy, let's pack it up and get home and uh, clean everything up. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Y'all ready? Pack it up. Put your life preserver on. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, one more thing I found down there. I don't know what this is. That is lead right there. You can see it's lead hat bins. And it's got some copper nails in it, like holding it on there. It's not a barrel. I'm not sure what that is. I'm pretty certain it's probably from colonial days, maybe for a piece of a boat or something, maybe. You won't see lead like that this day and time for sure. All right, we'll clean it up a little bit. Check it out. I can see the brass nails going through it though, right there. All right, we'll check it out when we get home. And we're off! All right, buddy, let's get home! Hi, right, everybody. I'm stoked. I've never found one of these kind of shells before. It is a canister shot naval shell. Um, a friend of mine, Carl Sitherward, um, y'all see me find a whole bunch of these balls. He bought some of those balls from me. And he actually sent me a picture of the show he made. I think he made a couple of them. He sent me a picture of one of them yesterday. I've never found these, these shells before. And I go find one the next day. Can you believe it? Check it out right here. Hi, I called him up. And he said it should be a wooden sabot on it. Which I do see right here. There's not much left of it. It's very, very, uh, almost gone. Um, and I'm not sure what this is in here. I've never seen one of these shells before, so... He said what to do is just kind of wash it off, take a light brush and clean everything off, but leave the balls in it. And he said it should be 39 of these balls in it. And I, like I said, I got the rest of them that go in here that fell out over here. This, he said this shell has never been fired. Uh, he said there's no way this thing will stay together like that. And this is tin. They call them canisters, he said, because the ball's in a canister. And it was a tin canister. He said they possibly could have it made out of... Um, uh, copper, but he didn't know. I'm not sure what this bottom... Ooh, that looks like wood too, doesn't it? Look at that. That's pretty soft. Yeah, that's wood too. We're going to have to keep it in water for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just clean it off a little bit. And i like to get these shells off of it now. Well, we'll see how that goes. I don't want to hurt anything, but anyway. we got to clean it off some, so stay tuned. We're going to clean it up right now. But he told me what they normally put inside of here is um, sawdust. And that is definitely sawdust right there. And the canister right there. You can see the canister piece right there. So we're going to set this back on here. The canister is just nothing left of it. I mean, you can pretty much see the canister part. It looks like it might be a little bit left in the back. But I'm going to put this back together. 
and maybe just put in water and talk to Carl back. Oh man, yes, that's wood will fall right to pieces. So, all right, we're gonna stop at that point right there and see if we can't just set it back together, put that back in there, and uh, put the balls that I have in here back into it. Look at that, isn't that cool though? That that's wood right there. So we gotta keep that. I think that's wood. Yep, I think that's gonna be wood right. Oh look, there's a um. I guess a copper nail that used to hold maybe a, the canister onto it. A little bit of the canister left there, but not a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing back together here. Yeah. All right, y'all saw in the boat when I had that chunk or whatever it was. I didn't know what it was. I just hit it, and look at this. It's a case shot. This is a steel case shot. Just came out. Unbelievable. I, buddy, I didn't know I had that one. Oh, didn't know. Wow. Piece of we used to find these. We'd find 30, 40 when we went, but now we don't find them. But definitely got an extra one here. Let me put this down in here. Um, I hope you all can see in this container here. But that shell is was not... Let me see if I can get a better angle here. It was not staying together very well. Let me put some shadow on top of it so you can see it inside. Um, I'm going to leave it in the water and let somebody else take a look at it. All right, um, let's go inside and check out everything else we've got. Woo, amazing day. All right, buddy, and I had another awesome day out there today. My buddy didn't hit it quite as much as I did, but uh, he got that beautiful uh, U.S. belt buckle last time, so can't feel too bad for him. All right, let's check out what we got right here. Our buddy did get, he didn't get skunk. He got him a, a Williams cleaner, pistol bullet, and a button. I'm not sure, it looks almost like a colonial button, maybe. We might clean it up and check that out a little bit. Um, Y'all saw that one shell I got out back. Uh, maybe I... Maybe I should have tried to wash it, but I mean, it's just so brittle. I'm not sure how you go about doing it. I'm going to wait and talk to Carl about it. I'm going to leave it in water. Uh, he said make sure you keep the, the wood in the water the whole time. So um, I might let him take it and see what he can do with it. So we'll see how it goes. But we did find a few other things here. Uh, bullets. I got four bullets. Um, a Williams cleaner and two other. But look at the difference in these two right here. Both of them are three ringers, but one of them is definitely a different size for sure. I'm not sure what sizes they are, but definitely a smaller bullet there. And one uh, pistol round. I did get three other case shot right here. This is to the other type of shell right here. See the small ones. And I did get another case shot right here. And this that's steel. These are lead, and this is a steel case shot here. You, it's amazing how light they get after they iron ions come out of them they start to get light this one has to go right back in the water or it will just fall to pieces um you can see some of the square spikes coming out of there one uh brass hook i'm not sure i guess that should be from the time frame but i don't know that for a fact and i did get these not sure about some of these what these are uh hole on each end lid anybody got a clue on those let me know i got three of them and different sizes right there. Both of them, all three have holes on the ends like that. Thinking that might be a homemade sinker, possibly. This is definitely, I'd say, a homemade sinker. It looks like they actually poured it. I, I got a feeling they melted some bullets back during the Civil War and poured it in some kind of mold trying to make a fishing sinker. This, you can still see the lead, the piece of lead right here just bending on it. Right there, a little spewed coming off the side of it. So it's not very well made, but... Is, I think it's a field-made sinker right there. It's pretty cool. So, we did pretty good today. Um, I don't know. We probably, we might go back there again, but I think it's just about ready to uh, call it quits there. Unless we go a little bit deeper, maybe. But right now, I think we're about, about cleaned it out. Unless we get that new detector from Fisher, the impulse. If I can get that, I think it will definitely go deeper and find some of those deep ones. It's, just so you know, this one shell I dug, I'm using an Xcal. As I went over top, it barely changed. Mm -hmm. Not even that much. It was just, I, mean, I could barely hear a change. And I started digging through it, digging deeper, and it kept getting a little bit louder, a little bit louder until I got down there. It was like two and a half feet down. So that was a deep, deep one right there. But anyway, appreciate everybody coming along. I hope y'all enjoyed getting out in the water today. I know I gotta take a shower. I know that. How about y'all? You gotta take one? Because I'm filthy. You can swim around all that mud all over y'all day long. Lord have mercy. The wife's not gonna let me uh, go anywhere in this house until I take one. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know where we're going next.